Hi guys, my name is Megan with the blog WilsonHosted.com and today I am going to do my little baby Vivian's one month update. She's right here on the bed next to me being real noisy. So she is about a month old now and she's doing really well. She's just <laughs> such an easy baby and I feel just really blessed that I get to be her mama. So I'm excited to share all the things that she's been doing lately and let's get right into her update. She still has quite a bit of hair, it seems like with my other two. They had some hair when they were born, but then they like rubbed it fall off pretty fast. Like well, rubbing their heads back and forth on their beds or something. But she still has all of her hair that she was born with that I'm really happy about. I'm hoping she doesn't lose it, lose it like the other ones did, but we'll see. <laughs> so at my last visit from my midwife, Vivian was like, I guess that was like two weeks ago. Vivian was seven pounds, eight ounces. So she had gained almost two pounds from when she was born. She was born at five pounds, 10 ounces. So just two ounces away from gaining two pounds from that point, which is really, I was really happy about. Uh, and then it's been a couple weeks since Sundana came and we just weighed Vivian on our scale and she was nine pounds, just a little over nine pounds, which seems like a lot. That's surprising to me that she's gained that much already. Our scale could be a little off from what Sandano's scale is also, but she's at least somewhere close to nine pounds at this point. She still sleeps really good. I don't know if I mentioned in my last video that she is just a really good sleeper. She starts out on her bassinet, so when me and Luke are having our evening time doing her Bible reading and stuff, I will change her diaper for the last time and then nurse her and she'll fall asleep nursing. And then I'll put her in her bassinet. It's usually right here, right next to my side of the bed. So I can always see her and hear her breathing and check on her whenever I want. <laughs> and she'll normally sleep in the bassinet till about 12 or one o'clock. I have her do that just to practice. I don't even really need to because I love having her sleep with me. But then when I do want to get her to sleep in her own bed, it'll just be easier that she's had some practice at least. So when she wakes up at about 12 or one, she comes to bed and nurses and that gets her to fall back asleep. And then she'll sleep till like four-ish. She'll nurse again and then she'll wake up at like six and nurse again and then we'll sleep until whenever the other kids wake us up at like seven or eight. So she usually nurses like three or four times total during the night. And then since so she just sleeps with me for most of that time, it doesn't even really wake me up all that much that she needs to nurse that often. I will just I'll bring her into bed the first time. I'll, I always start off on the right side, just so they can be more regulated and not be as full. It's just, I like to start out on the same side for the first one every night. And then when she wakes up to nurse again, I'll switch her to the other side. And then when she wakes up to nurse again, I'll switch her to the other side. So it's just putting her over to the other side and then latch her on and then we both fall back asleep. So it's just really, really nice. I highly recommend for any Mamas out there who are feeling sleep deprived and they're trying to get their babies to sleep on their own, it saves you so much sleep if you just let them do what they're naturally wanting to do. She definitely doesn't like to be put down when she's awake. <laughs> she here and there will lay there and be awake and just look around and be happy. But she really likes to be held and I definitely tend to create bad habits what you could call a bad habit, I think it's just cute that they want to be held because I don't I don't like to put my babies down ever so I just hold her all the time and so she doesn't like to be put down. But I've been starting to baby wear more. My favorite wrap is the bubble wrap so we've used that quite a few times now and it's just really nice that I can have her sleep on me and she gets to be right near me where she wants to be and I get to have her near me so I can like be watching her. I don't like it when she's in the other room and I keep going in there to look at her. I can put her down to sleep during the day by herself pretty easily if I need to get some stuff done. So same as at night, I will nurse her to sleep and then just transfer her to her bassinet. And because I baby wear and all this different stuff, she's used to be moved or moving around while she's asleep. So it doesn't wake her up to put her, like transfer her to her bed. 
which is really handy. So I'll put her in her bed and a lot of times she'll take like a nice long nap here in our room. I think yesterday she slept for like two or three hours, which is two hours is normally when I'll wake her up because I want her to have her long stretch at night. But I was getting so much good stuff done and the other kids were asleep too. So I just let her have a really long nap yesterday and she still did sleep good last night. So it didn't mess anything up, but I got the kitchen cleaned and I got the living room cleaned and the whole house swept and vacuumed. It was so nice to get something done. So hopefully she'll keep that up where I can I can lay her down to sleep somewhere else if I need to just like get some good hard work done. <laughs> she is still breastfeeding really good. I don't even really know how many times she nurses throughout the day because we just nurse on demand. Whenever she wants, whenever she's upset, I just nurse her. So it's a lot though. She nurses a lot. But she has gained a lot of weight since she was born. She was at 5 pounds 10 ounces and she's at around 9 pounds now in a month. So she nurses a lot to put that weight on. When she was first born, she didn't have any latching issues. She had no clicking. I've had a little bit of an issue with my last two where they clicked when they would nurse at first and then that we got that to go away pretty fast. She started out without that, which I was really excited about, but then she's started to now. So, and it's actually gotten worse where she'll click like every single time she nurses, like every swallow. <laughs> and it like really bothers me because I'm like, ah, she's getting air in there. She's gonna like have to burp really bad or she's gonna throw up on me. So I talked to my midwife about that and she said, honestly, like the clicking is a sign of a bad latch, but it could be because she has like a, just a slight tongue tie, which my chiropractor did mention that too, that she had between her tongue and her jaw were tight, that could be considered a slight tongue tie. But Sandano, my midwife, said she's still gaining weight, she's having a lot of poopy diapers, she's peeing a lot. So she said she wouldn't even worry about the clicking because she's still gaining weight and she's obviously getting enough. And she doesn't even have a problem with spitting up a lot, even though she's getting air in every time that clicking happens, she doesn't she doesn't ever spit up. So I guess it's not really an issue, it's just a little bit annoying to me because I was able to fix that with the other ones and I, I can't figure out how to get her to laugh better. <laughs> but I just need to not worry about it because she is gaining weight and she's happy, she likes to nurse, and that's all that matters, I guess. So she's been to the chiropractor twice since she's been born. I just really love taking my babies to the chiropractor at least one or two times after they're born to help any anything that might have gotten messed up during the birth, especially with hers. There was a really like pushing process, so she was like in the birth canal being squeezed for a long time. So she had her hips and her back and her shoulders and then the, the left side of her jaw was really tight. She had a lot of things that needed to be adjusted and then they just sleep so much better and they don't spit up as much and they can latch better. I highly recommend getting your babies adjusted as newborns at least once. And then the last thing I wanted to mention was that when she was first born, she had a little bit of a hip click on her left hip, I think. And Sandana said that could be because she was a little bit early, so just the joints in her hip hadn't developed all the way or something. But then when she came back a few days later, the hip click was gone. So that's, and then when she came back again a couple weeks later, it was still gone. So the hip click thing is all resolved. I just wanted to mention that because I had said something about that in her, in the video where I introduced her to you guys. So if anyone was wondering, her hips are perfectly fine. There's no issues there. But yeah, we are adjusting pretty well to being a family of five now. It's a little bit overwhelming that there's three kids during the day and I have to wrangle all of them by myself and I only have two hands so sometimes it's a little overwhelming with them all being so little <laughs> but we're figuring it out and it's seeing like it's getting easier and she's just settling in and getting into a good rhythm I don't want to say routine because we don't have any sort of a schedule it's just we have a good we found a good rhythm for the day I think that's pretty much all that's new with little Vivian I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this one month update I can't believe I'm already doing baby updates with the third baby now. I did them with the other two and just feels like a little bit, a little bit like deja vu. I'm doing this again. 
thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!